Welcome to our candle making sessions again. And today we actually have a, an exciting topic to discuss. It's wig placement and the art of making the large three wig candle. I'm Anya and let's dive right in. First, let's talk about the importance of proper wig placement. The position of the wig in the candle greatly affects its performance and burn quality. It's crucial to choose the right size and type of wig for your candle's specific diameter and the wax type. It takes a lot of time um, and burn testing to choose the proper size of your wig. To make your life easier, we actually shared all our burn test experiments on our website stonecandles.com where basically all you need to do is to measure the vessel that you're using, the diameter of the vessel, and see what size is recommended. I'm just going to show you an example. So say, you know, you have this large vessel that you would like to fill in your figure nine with your wigs. So first I'm just going to take a ruler. It's actually five and a half inches. And if I refer to our wig chart, five and a half requires uh, four number fives or three number sevens wigs. And you can always check that information online as well. So here we decided to use four wigs. It basically just guarantees this nice and even burn for the candle. It doesn't, you know, make it too smoky and it just burns nicely and evenly. The glass like this, which is larger than the, our normal eight ounce, I believe this is three and a half inches and we usually recommend to use two number fours CD wicks with our coconut wax and it also makes it this burn nicely and evenly. But the single wick placement is pretty simple. Usually the three inch across diameter, which is a standard 10 ounce glass that we have, we use number sevens or number eights depending on how strong you want your candle to burn. So what about our stunning large three-week candles? They really make a statement, create beautiful ambience, and when we're placing the wicks here, we just want to make sure that the distance between each wick and position um, is equal and centered. And I'm going to make like a little triangle. Triangle will help me basically create this nice centered look and help this candle burn nicely and evenly. Cool, so the candle is ready um, and all we need to know is the formula now. So how much wax and fragrance we will require. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna multiply the total fill, which is 50 ounce fill for this candle, by the fragrance percentage that we're gonna use and it's gonna be 10% of fragrance is usually recommended for the three wick candles. 50 by 10% is gonna be five ounces. So five ounces of fragrance, that's what we're gonna need for this 50 ounce candle, and basically 45 ounces of wax will be remaining. So your formula is five ounces of fragrance, 45 ounces of um, wax, and 50 ounces is the total fill for this beautiful three large candle. You can also melt your wax on the stove, on the hot plate, uh, we have this large uh, wax smelter here, so that's what I'm using. Great, and I'm also gonna go ahead and select the fragrance. It's today's June second, I believe. So let's make something summery, bright, maybe tropical and fresh. Uh, I'm actually gonna do the coconut uh, candle, I think, and cypress. That's gonna be a really nice combination. Sometimes cypress reminds me like the big sur area and coconut, just a very smooth, creamy, sunscreen type of smell. So I'll mix those woody uh, notes with the nice creamy coconut. Here we go. Doing the even amount of cypress and coconut. Smells wonderful. Then we also want to blend the fragrance and the wax together. Cool. Beautiful. So I usually like to leave a little room. Um, maybe like a, an inch and a half from the top of the glass. 
but if you want to make it a little higher that is fine too and at this point we just want to leave this candle in a room temperature to dry and we will show you the final result and here's our beautiful three wick candle one of the last steps you want to do is to trim your wicks and we also just added some fun glitter just to boost the mood here with the candle but you don't necessarily have to you can also decorate your candles with stones or crystals but now it's ready to be um, enjoyed cool let's light this candle <laughs> 